What's going on guys? Let me start this video with a question. Are you a huge sports fan and do you like going to sports games? Well today you're in luck because I have a promo code for SeatGeek which is a ticket sharing app that rates each ticket deal you might come across on a scale of 0 to 10 with 0 being the worst and 10 being the best. Scores more towards 0 show up in red while scores more towards 10 show up in green. My promo code to get $20 off on SeatGeek is Obersports. You use that code, you get $20 off on any single purchase you want on SeatGeek. With that being said, let's get to the video. What's going on, guys? Jacob Ober here. Um, so the NL fan vote came out today. The fan voting update uh, came out, and there is a lot of things on this that I'm really kind of shocked to see, but at the same time, I'm not shocked because, once again, it is the fan vote. I have never really been a huge fan of the fan vote, um, and I'm still kind of up in the air, you know, because I want to see the players that actually deserve to get there, get there. And the fan vote does no favors for players who might actually deserve to be in the All-Star game to actually get there. Now, I understand the fan vote from the point of view, you know, like getting the fans more involved in it. And I get that because the MLB needs that. They need fans to become more involved in the sport and uh, kind of draw interest in younger fans and everything. But at the same time, you know, it's like people just vote for their favorite players on their favorite teams, and it always leads to really skewed results. Like, look at, the, look at this here. Ozzie Albies is ahead of Mike Moustakis for the leading second baseman uh, fan vote. Like, how does, how does, what? Mike Moustakis is on another planet compared to Ozzy Albies this year. And if Ozzy Albies becomes the starter and Moustakis isn't, that's absurd. Moustakis deserves to be the starter. Like, and then you've got, like, what? Kyle Schwarber and Jason Hayward and, uh, and Albert Almora and all in the top seven for NL outfielders. Like, that's ridiculous. None of those players deserve to sniff the top outfielders in the MLB, you know, and Yasmani Grandal is number five on the top catchers. He's not even in the top three. Like, there's only one player, one catcher in baseball that could have an argument of being above Grandal, and that's Wilson Contreras. That's the only player that has an argument over Grandal. Like, JT Real Muto, absolutely not. Yadier Molina, nope. Brian McCann, nope. Yasmani Grandal is clear and cut. Clear cut and drive better than all three of those guys, and yet he's sitting there at number five because the fan vote is just, it, it, I feel like it's flawed, you know? And it's like, I understand it from the perspective, you know, you want to get fans involved, like I said, but I mean, it, it's just, it just takes away from players that deserve to be there, you know? Like, people just vote for their favorite players, and if you have a good enough social media campaign to get a player there. Like, you could realistically get a player that has only played a few games in, over, in the entire year there if you wanted to, and that's the flaw in it. Like, it just it just doesn't make sense to me. And it, it seems very unfair to the players that actually might deserve to get to the All-Star game. So, um, it's like, I don't know, but Yelich is number two on the out, NL outfielders, deserving, of course. He's got, like, a million votes, which is double the guy right behind him, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, and Lorenzo Cain's number 17. I don't know if I agree with having him that low, but at the same time, you know, I don't really think Lorenzo Cain would be an all-star this year anyway, the way he's not really hitting the way that he was last year. He's still miles better than pretty much any outfielder in the NL in terms of his defensive, uh, his defensive uh, prowess, but um, I would really love to see Lorenzo Cain get a gold glove this year. I have no idea how he didn't get a gold glove last year. That is absurd to me. Um, but with the amount of home run robberies he's had this year and like the just the flashiness that he's displayed, I don't really think he was as flashy as he was as, last year as he was this year. So he'll definitely, I think he'll get more attention this year. But um, hopefully he gets the gold glove this year. Um, but Yelich uh, and Cody Bellinger, I, you know, Cody Bellinger, I, I understand, you know, Cody Bellinger has been phenomenal this year, and right now, even though Bellinger has kind of fallen off a little bit, I would still say, you know, he, he deserves to be the number one vote-getter in the in the NL um, on the All-Star ballot. I, I would agree with that, but uh, Yelich, though, uh, certainly going to be a starter, I would assume, and he is more than deserving of that. It's gonna probably going to be a pretty close race this year between Bellinger and Yelich for the MVP when all is said and done, um, but... Overall, though, like I said, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, 
Albies ahead of Moustakis, no chance. Grandal is not number five, the fifth best catcher in baseball. Like in the three Cubs outfielders that have no have no business sniffing the top seven are all in there, you know. Uh, let's see, the third baseman, Arenado, Bryant, Turner, I agree with that. Donaldson is, should not be number four, though. Um, Manny Machado, nope. Uh, the first baseman, uh, let's see here, Bell, Josh Bell, Anthony Rizzo, Freddie Freeman. You know, I, I agree with that for the most part. Um, Aguilar is actually on this list. I had a Joey Votto, actually. That's kind of surprising. Uh, Aguilar has not been the uh, regular, everyday first baseman for the Brewers in quite some time. It's been Thames for the most part. But um, if anyone should be on the list, I think it should be Thames. But I know that I think they go like off of the opening day roster or something like that. But, um, yeah, like I said, the overall, like, I don't know. I don't really know a solution for this problem, like, because I get that they want fans to have an, a say in it, and taking away the ability for fans to pick who gets to go to the All Star game would not probably not bode well for baseball as a whole. Because that's one of the things that keeps you know people engaged in the sport, and that's something that the MLB like wants to do. They want people to be engaged in the sport, um, and uh, obviously MLB's um, popularity has kind of taken a little bit of a hit over the past. Um, 10 to 20 years or so so this is one of the things you know that they want to keep around but at the same time it's like it just seems so unfair and you know when when players retire and they're considered for all or for a uh, hall of fame um for hall of fame uh like credentials you know like getting selected to the hall of fame they use all-star appearances they use all-star starts you know like and the fact that it's a, a fan thing now like fans determine this like people who just vote for their favorite players over and over again, like, that, that seems kind of unfair, you know? So either the All-Star game should be, like, when you're selecting players for a Hall of Fame appearance or something, either the All-Star game should be uh, severely diminished on the list of accomplishments by the players, like, you shouldn't take that into account, or you you have to find a way to make it more fair and make it so that the best players are actually getting in. And like I said, I'm going to be honest, I don't really have a solution for it. Like, maybe you do what the NFL has done. Like, um, they have, like, a third of it is a fan vote, a third of it is the players' vote, a third of it is the media vote. I think I'd be all right with that. But then again, you're diminishing the impact that the fans have, and the MLB doesn't really want to do that because the fan vote is something, like I said, that engages the, the voters. And, and since it goes almost strictly based off of the fan vote, for the starters at least, that's something that really gets MLB fans and people involved in the sport, and that's what the MLB wants. So um, it's really hard for me to, you know, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what they should do here, but I do know that they got to do something about it because it's so unfair, like the, the way that players are just completely neglected like this. It, it really rubs me the wrong way, especially when they're on my team, players that I feel like are deserving, that I watch every single day. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. Also, if you're planning on going to a sporting event anytime soon, use the ticket app SeatGeek and use my promo code OBERSPORTS, that's O-B-E-R-S-P-O-R-T-S, -E uh, to get $20 off of any purchase that you make. So, that's a pretty good deal, in my opinion, to get $20 off uh, any uh, uh, purchase you make to go to any game. Uh, like, if say, if you got Brewer tickets for $40 a piece, uh, you get $20 off that, so it's only $60 in total. So, anyways, guys, though, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Brewers!